Hey, sneaking us back today. Today we are back in time, or forward in time, whatever you want to call it, with Nopix or Knopix 6.4. This is the live CD, CD, although you can actually put it onto the hard drive if you want to. So I'm going to a quick look around for you. As you can see, nice desktop. I didn't even really recognise it from the old Nopix I used to have. It was my first ever disk drive I ever used from Linux years and years ago. And it's not even the same anymore. It's just totally not. So some of the stuff we get in your little folder on the top here. Applications. Got a few applications are installed. You've got a desktop folder, etc. All usual. Now it's using LXDE for its desktop. So it just looks like LXDE now, unfortunately. Although I like LXDE, don't get me wrong. There's a lot out there and they all look the same. So there you go. There's the accessories, graphics. You do get Gimpy and you also get LibreOffice Draw. Ooh, I hear you all say, well, what's that? I'll show you in a minute. Ice Dove for your mail, Ice Weasel for your internet, as Lynn Phone for internet telephony, and Pigeon Instant Messenger, all quite standard. Right, under Office, we get LibreOffice. So, this is one of the first ones to go full with LibreOffice, which is just the fork of OpenOffice, as we all know. Long story, you all know about it, so I'm not going to go into it too much. So, we open it up, it looks very similar, doesn't it? As it would do. You wouldn't expect it to change too much, as I haven't been working on it too much. So what we're going to do, we're going to open one of these up. I think we'll open a text document. So, no, no. yeah, go on, we'll open a text document. I don't care, you know me. Text document, we'll click on there. Now, it's got a bit faster, but not too much faster. You know what I mean? So open it all up. Looks all right, doesn't it? No big deal, it's all right. Yeah, I like it. Does it save to all the formats, do you think? So let's go and have a quick look. I ain't done this for a while, but we'll go to Save As. And we'll go down to File Type. And as you scroll down, I think there's enough there to play with for the time being, don't you think? So yeah, that looks all super duper whooper, shall we say. Oh yes, plenty there, in there. Do you think so? Or is there some that you would like and they're not in there? If so, get in contact with them and they might be able to help you. But I'll go to About LibreOffice. LibreOffice, the Document Foundation. This is the Debian package. la 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 All of that, I ain't going to read it for you. You can do that yourself. So yeah, that's LibreOffice out of the way. What next can I show you? Well, not too much really, because there ain't a lot here. Unlike Nopix of old, where you've got stacks and stacks and stacks and stacks of stuff, you don't get sod all here really, which I was really disappointed about after the slow download, by the way. You get HTOP for checking the system, system profile and benchmark, Wines in there, Orca for text to speech, not text to speech, just a magnify the screen, etc. In preferences, now you get quite a bit here. So you get appearance, Bluetooth, Compiz, GPRS stuff for your mobile dongles, as we say, G party for your diskies, nice, iced in connections. You can install Nopix to the flash drive, the Nopix firewall, and the Nopix hard disk install. Now it used to be quite a bit of a pain to get it to install years ago, although I have done it quite a few times, but now it's in the menu. So as you can see, it's not very well there, it's a bit difficult to read that, isn't it? But if one can accept it, it's basically it's all the same, do you want to install it? So it's checking my installation requirements, it takes a little while. Right, there's a little drive I've got for it, so it's got 3,067 3, megabytes, because I've already partitioned it. Right, it wouldn't auto-partition, which was a bit of a pain at the button, wasn't it? So I had to manually partition, and it still had trouble finding it. I got through halfway through the process, and it stopped, so I gave up on that. I might try it again later, I don't know. So back to preferences again anyway. <clears throat> the Nopix Firewall. Bad text again, it really needs doing properly this bit, doesn't it? Now you get three modes, you get easy, not so easy, and not easy at all. So easy is just a single machine, a port filter, and the outbound connections. Medium, a bit more root of function possible, lovely. And experts, only use that if you know what you're doing with IP tables. And I mean that seriously. So yeah, I'm just going to click easy. I'm just going to let it run. Okay, let's, let's scroll down here, don't we? Save configuration. No, I want to activate the firewall, didn't I? So we'll click OK. Start firewall now. Yes, please. Come again. And in theory, that should all be working. Now, when I went to save the configuration, obviously, because it's not installed, it won't save the configuration. So it would be nice if I could actually have it working so I can install it to the hard drive and I can save all my settings and not bother with having save files on USB sticks or SD cards, etc. So, yeah, that was that anyway. <clears throat> And you get your keyboard settings, root shells there, screen savers, install components. Another little problem I had with this, because <clears throat> of course you you can't always have FlashNet in different countries, etc, etc. You know the score, hardcore. So say you wanted Flash, for instance, or Amrock, or Audacity, they're all here. 
So it says you need an internet connection for this to work, okay? So it would help if I had one, which I have, otherwise you'll be hearing me. So I'll click there for Flash Plugin, and I'll click Install. Nothing happens at all, which I was very disappointed about. Again, quite a bit of a disappointment at the moment, isn't it? Really, it's not doing very well. So maybe as installed, and I just, you know, I was blinked and it done it while I wasn't looking. So we'll open up the browser, as you can see, and we'll go straight to the two from the Google search bar. So, yeah, internet works, chaps. Why didn't that, eh? Or well, maybe it did. We'll soon find out. We'll go to the tube. We'll click there. Oh, looks all right, doesn't it? Now, browser here. Looks all right. Now, this is one of the first problems we get. It's so security enhanced, you have to really allow everything on scripts. So, that's the first one. Okay, options again. Temporary allow, what I mean, yeah, that again, I'm the third one it wants me to do, here we go, allow that one, yeah, so in theory that should all be done now, is it done, thank God for that, right, so that's all done, so let's check out a video to see if Flash did actually install, so I'll put me in, because you can watch one of my videos and I'm not breaking the law, lovely, off we go, there's one of mine, let's just, just click on mine, it doesn't really matter which one we click on, just to see if it works, so click on there, oh dear, we want to download plugins. So Flash didn't install, and on top of that, there's more scripts it wants to do. Oh, bloody hell. It's taking its time now, you see. Hmm. I suppose once you set it up in the first place, once you've installed it, by the way, and you get them to allow it permanently, this would be all right. But obviously Flash didn't install, so that's a bit of a bummer. So the installing bits didn't work there, did they? So we'll get rid of that. Okay, back down to the menu. Okay, that preferences again. We'll go and open up Synaptic Package Manager, because in theory, that should be hunky-dory, shouldn't it? Yay! So, I'll type in Flash. We'll click on Search. Remember, I've already re I'll say that again. I've already reloaded everything here. So, we shouldn't have to do that again, okay? So, I'm going to scroll down a bit. So, yeah, oh, look. The Ganache plugins there. Ooh. Now, that last time I used it on a distro, it actually worked. I know, yeah, I was impressed by that, because it's been going along for quite a long while now. It never did work for me, but it did that time. So there's a normal free flash plugin up there anyway. And there's all the Ganesh common and stuff down here. So what should I do? You know what I'm going to do, didn't you? Of course you know what I'm going to do. No, you do. No, really, you do know what I'm going to do. I'm going to install the Ganesh plugin. So we tick there. Mark for installation. We'll mark again because it needs all them bits and bobs. We'll apply. It doesn't want much to download, really, but it's going to use about 12 mega space. So... Download my package for uh, uh, hours. So we wait a bit longer for it does that. So I'll skip a little bit in a minute because we're getting boring, isn't it, really, when you think about it? Just washing it on the screen, washing it dry, you know what I mean? Yeah, so we go. I mean, I suppose it's still faster than other software, Synaptic. I've got so used to speed using Linux. You get a bit lazy and you think, oh, why aren't you doing it super, you know, super fast? And it is doing it super fast, it's just we can't wait, really. Anyway, there we go, all done. I told you I cut it in the end, didn't I? We'll wait for the page to reload as you would have to, as normal. Get rid of that. We'll go back down to our browser now, and we'll clip him open, or clip him open, clip him. yeah, clip, click it open then, alright. I'll go to the history, so I'll go straight back to that page. And I bet we get with them scripts again, don't we? Because I didn't do them permanently. Ah, <clears throat> now we seem to have a bit of, mmm, yes, going down there, or yes, indeedy. So I'm going to allow all these scripts first, and I'm not. Da, 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 da. Clicky there, clicky there. I've got to fill out a clicking. Oh, come on, hurry up. Is that done now? No, oh, no. I've got another two to do. Click there again. Oh, looking good, feeling great. I'll add that one as well. And there should be one more to do after that. That should be, he says. Or is it all done? No, it looks like it's all done. Now, that looks like Flash is going to play ball, isn't it? And it's Ganesh. Couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. But then when I went to click on it, it, nothing happened. Now, I know Ganesh does work, because I tried it about last week on a different distribution. But all of a sudden, the browser's just froze. So I'll have to look into that one, won't I, really, when you think about it? Yes, you will, Neil. OK, but yeah, that's it, really. Nopix 6.4. I was quite disappointed at the end of the day. I really was, because I was expecting so much more out of my menu. Because I used to be loads and loads of stuff. But hey, sneaky Linux going out. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye.